guys, Big Ben Motor Vlog here. Last vlog of the day and it stayed alright. I think it's probably going to rain on my way back home. Uh, but anyway, uh, like I said, thinking of doing my um, direct access course in the new year now. So it's going to be like my, uh, my new year's resolution to do my DAS course. <laughs> Definitely. Because uh, I, I do, I, I probably won't sell the bike straight away. I'll probably keep it for a little while. Uh, but in the meantime, obviously I'll have to do a, a little bit of um, training, a little bit of, not training, a little bit of preparation for it. Because uh, I, I, I hate going into things and I haven't done anything to help my, to help it along really. Um, so what I've been doing, obviously been practicing my observations, because that's the one thing that my um, instructor kind of uh, told me about. Kind of instructed me on, or told me that I was a little bit lacking in uh, when I done my uh, CBT. That's such a fun little hill. <laughs> when I did my CBT last year. Just said, yeah, it's lacking a little bit, he said. Um, you are doing them, <laughs> but you're just, you're not doing them enough. So I was like, all right, okay, then. So he said, improve on that one. Um, but the rest of your riding is fine, he said, so I don't mind that. So yes, that's pretty much what I've been practicing. Um, so, for example, I've been doing my, you know, left mirror, right mirror. So, yeah, so left mirror, right mirror. So, if I'm turning right, so left mirror, right mirror, uh, lifesaver, indicate, manoeuvre. So, if I was going around this corner, for example, I would go that one, that one, that one, indicator, manoeuvre, so move over slightly, turn, double check behind you, off. So, pretty much doing that. See the writing all over the roads? Yeah, so that's my, sort of like my preparations that I'll be doing. He said that's the main one that you have to, everything else is fine. He said we're going around, uh, you know, when slowing down, you know, we're checking your mirrors, things like that. So he said just make sure that you are doing those and you'll be fine, he said. So I was quite, uh, quite pleased with that, to be honest. Uh, what else I've been uh, doing a bit of as well is just use my clutch a little bit more on slow riding because I find that I don't really use it a great deal so I'm just going to clean you guys yeah so using my clutch a little bit more uh, especially for like slow riding I've uh, been using that quite a bit more just feathering the clutch using my back brake a little bit just to make sure that I am, I am actually doing slow riding <laughs> otherwise I'm not doing slow riding am I in that sense I'm just on the throttle a little bit and I haven't got that much control either because I do tend if I'm doing just like that I do tend to warp a little bit side to side which is obviously it's not what they want uh, next thing really is u-turns I haven't had that much of a chance to even practice u-turns um, I'm getting better again using like the slow riding method of using your clutch uh, and the back brake and lo obviously looking where you're going because obviously looking where you're going is the main thing if you don't look where you're going then how do you know that you're going that way obviously that made no sense but there we are uh, <laughs> obviously the way you look is where the bike goes if you don't look where you go then the bike won't go that way simple as that's why I'm going in here but I'm going in here Nobody knew anyway. Now, are you supposed to, when doing new turns, are you supposed to just a constant throttle? Because if I do a constant throttle, which is like that, it's alright, but. I, do, I tend to just blip the throttle a little bit because my throttle is so close. I do just tend to slightly blip the throttle at, at random points. So if I do a constant one, 
which is like I was just fine. I'm doing. I'm probably not doing it a, a, a short amount of space, but. I think I think it's probably too quick, but it all depends in the space that he's going to do it in on on the test. But the, the most of it, you know, I think it's got, not going to be too bad. I probably need a, a good bit of training. I probably need a good bit of training, mind, but I don't mind it. Yeah, so preparations is mainly so like the slow riding I need to sort out. You know, using my further in so on my biting point back brake a little bit and I can move around quite nicely so yeah yeah so what do you guys think the best thing to do preparation wise I know I have to do a bit of theory again uh, I've, I've done my theory last year anyway so that was back in 2014 so I don't have to really worry about it for another another year to be honest so it's quite a while uh, so, but, uh, but I'll be reading up about it anyway because I, like I said I do like to go into a bit of detail before I do something that's that important you know uh, but thanks for watching you know, wish me the best of luck when I do go for my uh, go for my dash I can't wait to be honest to be riding a bigger bike uh, I'm not looking for the speed or anything like that I just I want to travel but things like going to Cardiff can now take me something like an, I think is it an hour and a half by bike if I go along the A roads, which is, I don't want to take an hour and a half to go to Cardiff. You know, it's actually like nearly 40 minutes if I go by go by M, uh, go by the motorway. So that's what I want to do. I don't want it for the speed, I don't want it for the acceleration. I just want it so I can go further. But uh, thanks so much for watching, guys. Um, like I said, what do you think is the most important thing? Um, or what advice, not the most important thing, but what advice would you give to somebody who's going to do their their next license, even if they want to do their CBT, but mainly at this point is just the next license up, which is going to be my DAS. So thanks for watching, watching guys. Thanks so much for watching, watch, watch. Thanks very much for watching guys. I will talk to you uh, very soon. Uh, bye bye guys. Uh, bye bye.